Morning YouTube, friends and family. Welcome to Monday, 6.54 a.m. Getting ready to take Milo to the bus and head to Yarmouth. Need to get a couple things left inside. Hey, thanks for coming along with me on a whole other week in this crazy state of Maine. Go Patriots. Okay, so all the talk this morning is about the New England Patriots, and that is my home team, football champions. They're probably the best team football has really ever seen, so I have to, you know, tip my hat and give a little bow to uh, the Patriots. Good job. All the other talk right now is about the weather we're going to be having tomorrow. It's supposed to be getting, uh, you know, maybe three to six inches of snow. I'm just trying to figure out on site here what's the best thing to do. I'm probably gonna get my cellulose delivery today, hopefully, so that I don't have to deal with that in the snow tomorrow, or so they don't have to deal with it in the snow tomorrow. All right, I gotta get up this ladder and, um, well, put together a materials list and get that cellulose ordered. I actually already, I already did that. I just need to, you know, make the call, which as long as I continue talking with you guys, I really can't do. So it's probably about time that I said bye. throughout the day to get me to complete tasks. For instance, I told myself, as soon as I finish this foam board and strapping under this knee wall, I'll stop and have a snack. And, and I find that it helps me keep a pace so that I don't lose track of, you know, the, the task that I'm on and that I get tasks done and that I time breaks intelligently, you know, so that I use my time wisely. 
Uh, it's good for the customer. It's good for me because I like to get stuff done. Uh, now I get a snack. My next step is to frame these gable walls out a little bit, give them a deeper wall cavity than just the flat two by four. I'm gonna make a two by six wall cavity that will be a five and a half inch thick pack of insulation, which is good for an exterior wall. Um, and it's important to get the gable end of this little knee wall space because it is the end of the insulation. There's insulation below, there's insulation above and now there's going to be insulation on the outside wall therefore this space then becomes a tempered space which is what i want so i have that to do on all four corners of the building i've got this corner behind me the corner i was just at and then the where the, the things are going to change down here from a, a hot roof to a vented roof so i need to build a wall there and similarly um, there. So four walls, next step. This will take me through the lunch hour. Then I'm gonna be doing a lot of netting, I think, uh, and strapping. <laughs> dang, 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 I forgot. I got one more step. I gotta put this netting in these little uh, ends like I did on this side for the silo. Sorry, so that's another 35 minutes. like much but I just installed that piece of wood that plate that plate that stud and that stud now that's ready for netting and I did the same thing on this side so now that's ready for netting my next step <laughs> Typically at the end of the day I like to clean up, but I just was working, working and realized it's five o'clock so I need to bust out of here. I'm just gonna drop this stuff.
this job, but it's just, I gotta keep the pressure on this one or else it could drag on. <laughs> Uh, weather's still looking like it's gonna be crappy tomorrow, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna play it back. My car is doing some questionable signals to me. It's showing the oil light, and it has been leaking oil a little bit lately, and and now I can't get the hood open because the mechanism is broken, so... I'm gonna see if I can get into the mechanic tomorrow if the weather does look bad. 